Hey gamers and tech junkies, Tony here from the ClassicLeague.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast, also with G2PO.com, and I'm here with another hardware review. Today I'm taking a look at the Kingston HyperX Predator USB 3.0 memory stick, high capacity. As you can see, this bad boy here is 512 gigabytes. It's a brand new technology from uh, Kingston, a brand new device that they're putting out, and I've been really excited to get my hands onto one of these. So, first thing I want to bring your attention to is the actual package that the device comes in. It's a uh, metal casing, really, really sweet looking. Obviously, if you've seen some of our reviews before, we've done a lot with the HyperX series, and it's always been really reliable. So, I'm excited to see how this one uh, stacks up. Predator USB 3.0. Um, it has a uh, tested read speed from Kingston of 240 megabytes per second and a write speed of 160 megabytes per second. That's USB 3.0. Like I said, this is the new high capacity 512 gigabyte version. Nothing really on the sides of this packaging too much. On the back we get a uh, few more specs here, as you can see. And obviously how you can hook it up both USB 2.0 and 3.0. Obviously for the highest speeds you're going to want 3.0 and that's what we're going to take a look at in this review today. So let's go ahead and pop this open. I just love the case. It's amazing. So now 512 gigabytes is pretty much unheard of on a stick this size and so I've been really pumped about this. These are pretty pricey. You can uh, The prices always fluctuate on Amazon, but you can click in the link of the description below uh, right at the top to purchase this if you'd like to or take another look at it. Um, I like how they include a lot of different things in this package. And so the first thing you're going to see here is this USB 3.0 extension cord, the actual um, 512 gigabyte memory stick, and then a uh, steel keychain as well if you want to carry that along with you. So let's go ahead and take this out of the package and take a closer look at all of the components. All right, so now that we have everything out of the box, um, I just want to go over some of these components real quick. I love the fact that they include a nice uh, steel keychain. And this, this guy is really cool. It's got the pull away so you can actually link the device and then relock it that way. Um, and then obviously the key ring. Uh, I still, with a device kind of as pricey as this and as uh, big as this, I would still be kind of hesitant to keep it on my keychain just because it's, it's quite a bit of an investment for this technology at this point. Um, but that's obviously up to you. They do include a nice steel keychain so you don't have to worry about losing um, the device easily. It's not going to just snap and break in half. So really cool. Um, piece to include from Kingston. Get the HyperX logo there which is pretty neat. And then I really love this, this little really thick heavy duty USB 3.0 extension cord here. And uh, this is important because look at the size of this device. And the reason I have, this is the um, Kingston 64 gigabyte flash drive that, th that they also sent me as well. And then this is the 512 one. As you can see, pretty thick differing sizes there so it's nice to have this little extension cord especially if you only have one USB slot open so great thinking there on Kingston's behalf and I'll go ahead and slide this one out of the way so that's nice to have as well and then I'll push these out of the way okay so taking a look at the actual device here um, as I said it's a metal casing thick plastic on the inside and it, as you, it's, it's very similar to their other design slides to open um, and then you have the indicator light right there for when it's plugged in, receiving power, ready to read and, and write. And so I love the uh, casing on these. Just really, really amazing stuff and easily slides up for when you're ready to plug it in. And so Kingston pays a lot of attention to not just build quality but also continuity and how, how well this thing works. And so when you think about 512 gigabytes being done on a stick this size, it's pretty impressive um, feat. In addition, uh, they, you know, made it really, really portable, and so it looks really nice and it works really easily. So that's pretty much the device. I'm very pleased. I give it high marks for design, build quality, um, and now I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the computer. And let's go ahead and take a quick look at to finish up this review at how fast it uh, reads and writes, and then we'll be finished. Thanks so much. Alright, so here we are back testing out the Kingston HyperX Predator Drive and its USB 3.0 512GB as I mentioned in the first part of the review. 
and I went ahead and used this program right here H2 test W to test some of the write speeds now you can actually test the entire drive but it takes several hours and so I went ahead and tested four, a little over four gigabytes of um, the drive just to see what the write speed would be and if you remember the front of the box said it was about 160 megabytes per second in the Kingston test and I actually was able to pull back um, 189 megabytes per second in the test that I ran so I was really pleased with the write speeds of that when the drive is hooked up to USB 3.0 in addition, I have the drive open here with no files inside of it, and I do uh, want to show you I have this game movies folder that has, oh, roughly two and a half gigabytes inside of it right now, some game movies that I've done. And so what I'm going to actually do is just do a real-time example of this drive in action and just copy this over and just show you how quickly it copies over using USB 3.0. Um, with a pretty big file size. As you can see there it copied two and a half gigabytes in just a matter of seconds without any big deal at all. Um, I'm really happy with the overall build of this drive. I'm happy with the size of it and obviously 512 gigabytes in the palm of your hand that you can just stick in your pocket and take off with is really really cool. And so overall, I'm going to give this a very high review. I'm happy with the speeds I've received, both on the read and write ends. I'm very happy with the uh, just real-time transfer and availability of this device. And overall, I'm going to recommend it. The only issue I had is just a little bit on the pricey side, but hopefully this technology will continue to increase and it will come down in the future. You can purchase this device by clicking on the link in the description below. And this has been Tony signing off from the Classically.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast. Thanks for joining us for another hardware review. Hope you have a great day.